Hey guys, it's Bianca Feeling Around here. And in today's video, I'm going to be filming quite a long video, I'm expecting it to be. So I'm going to be showing you four back to school hairstyles to do on any type of hair, whether it's curly, straight, frizzy, dr uh, greasy, because I know we can struggle with greasy hair a lot. And then I'm also going to be showing you my back to school makeup routine, because I know a lot of girls starting secondary school i know a lot of you guys are struggle with like makeup and what to wear and i don't want you guys having like a huge brick eyebrows and that sort of stuff so i want to help you guys out just a little bit just give you a nice natural makeup look this is a lot more than a lot of people have been telling me they they like wore in year seven but this is what i wore and this is what i found looked the best so I am not going to really talk about skincare, we're going to start with makeup, but I am going to um, just put on some toner, this, I just spill it all over myself, great. Oh, I also smashed my serum when I was bringing it in here, so that is non-existent. So I'm just taking the Body Shop Vitamin C toner, this toner is so nice and it's just so cooling. Um, please make sh please make sure that you're doing a full skincare routine. Whether that, even if that is just moisturizer and washing your face twice, because especially if you're wearing makeup to school, you want it to look nice. And then also, I'm going to put on a bit of the simple light hydrating moisturizer. This is a really nice moisturizer for start starting school, and just in general because it is so nice on sensitive skin. I've used this for over a year now. And I love it. I used to use the Neutrogena one, um, and that one's just as good, but this is what I prefer. All of my products are mostly drugstore. Like, I don't think there is anything here over £10. And also, if I keep looking this way when I'm doing my makeup, I'm not being rude. I'm just looking in the mirror at what is literally right there. I wanted to make sure this is affordable for you guys, but also looks really nice. So I'm starting with the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is the Collection Filter Finish. I have this in the shade Fair One, and I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. This makes this makes your skin look so nice and glowy, um, and it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, obviously. So it's really nice. This is seven pounds by the brand Collection. You can get it in Superdrug Boot. Super Drug Boots, Amazon, or off the collection website. Um, I am going to share where everything's from and the prices just to help you guys out a bit. And then this is not, oh, this is under £10. I'm then going to use my Made by Mitchell Beauty Blender. Um, he kindly gifted this to me, but I think they're about £5 each, or I think he's got a deal on a TikTok shop at the moment for £10 for the trio, so you get three beauty blenders. I'm going to blend this all in and then I'll be back. Okay, the next product I'm going in with is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. There's so many concealers out there, but this is definitely my favourite drugstore concealer. I know Rim will have a new one out as well, but I don't know what it is. It's in a blue tube. Um, it's like the skin-like one. I'm not sure how much it is, though, so I'm really sorry. This is £5.99, and I get mine in Superdrug, but you can honestly literally get them anywhere that stocks Maybelline. Um, and I have mine in the shade 5. Mine is a bit light for me. One, because I'm tanned and two because i did buy a lighter shade because i use this to carve out my brows when i do carve out my brows i am putting quite a bit on but obviously put on as much as you feel is necessary just make sure you've got a bit under your eyes and a bit on any spots if you need to uh, also with this concealer make sure you get i always blend out the under eye last even if i put it on first because it builds it oxidizes and builds up the most coverage and also like changes to your skin tone so it's just a little tip if you did not know that so that is all blended in. Obviously there's so many ways you can blend it in, whether that's a brush or your fingers or a beauty blender. Um, so you can either go in with cream products, what I don't always recommend, but if you are going to go in with cream products, I have got my favourites. So I used to use lip glosses as my bronzer and blush, and I still do for school normally when I want a more natural looking base. Sometimes I just put those on without a bit of concealer, or even just a bit of concealer on my eyes. Or you can use the Made by Mitchell blushes, but these can be so pigmented if you use if like you lose a, use a lot. So I do recommend to be so careful. These on TikTok shop are I think about seven pounds each, but he's always got deals on and he has always got really good bundles. Um, I use mango daiquiri and strawberry cream, or I use rosy posy. I've run out um, for my blush and then i use a darling peach as my bronzer because it's like the perfect shade for me um these two are from his dreams collection and then this one is his be one of his best sellers but i am going to go straight in with powders so you can use a pressed powder the pressed powder 
is that is cheap is the Natural Collection Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Warm. I think this one's about three pounds from Boots. It's really good actually, but I just prefer using a loose powder recently. But then there's also the Maybelline Fit Me powder that you get in a loose aura pressed. But also there is also the Maybelline Super Stay powder. And if I get that one, I use it in the shade 21 nude. I've actually got one downstairs because it just darkens up my face. And then the powder I've been using recently, and I recommend, is the Revolution Banana Light Powder. So it's from the Revolution Pro range. And I just take this brush from TikTok Shop. I got a huge set of them for 99p if you're looking to get some new brushes. And then I make sure I look up and I pat that in just to get rid of any creases because I do have loads of creases under my eyes. And it just mats it out, but we can always add gloss in a bit later. So I just set on my eyes specially. And then, okay, that's the last one, Grace. I need to powder my chin and my upper lip because I get a sweaty upper lip. And then the excess on my brush, normally I just pat on my forehead or literally anywhere I get, I put my concealer or I get oily. Um, but you can also, always, you can still see the glow from the collection filled finish. Okay, I could ramble on about bronzers. I love a bronzer. So there's so many good brands, but out there I use the Kayo bronzer. Um, I have the bronzing powder in the shade medium. You can use a bronzer or a contour. Revolution makes some really nice bronzing and contouring palettes. I have one, but I just don't use it anymore. So I used it at the beginning of the year, and I'll definitely go back to that once this one's run out pretty much. Um, I'm not quite sure how much this is because I got it in a £10 bundle from Boots, but I reckon it's about £3 because um, this brand is very affordable though. I have loads of stuff from them and you'll see a bit more in a minute. Um, but yeah, just look out for this brand because they're really nice. And then brush wise, I use this brush from Savers normally for more of a natural look. And then if I'm using a concentrated look, what I did most of the year pretty much, uh, with my bronzer is I use this brush and this brush is from Morphe. I'm not sure what, like, what collab or anything. I got it for Christmas. So I am going to go in with the concentrated brush on this side and then the feathery brush on that side. So you can just see the difference and how it looks. Honestly, if you apply it properly, it doesn't look much different. So... I go from my temple all the way down, like under here, and I'm making sure to tap, and always tapping off the loose product. The reason you want to tap when applying products is so that you don't smudge the makeup that's underneath. And then I just put it here, and here, I've got no products, I'm just going to swipe and under. So that's basically what it looks like, and sometimes I will literally just go over with a fluffy brush and just... Make sure it's all blended out nicely. And then on the other side of the fluffy brush, I'm just going to dip that in. Pop it off. So on this side, you can still see we have a bit of colour, but it is a lot less pigmented. I am just going to go over this one just so they look similar. Okay, so for blush, I have two blushes that I'm going to recommend. The first one's in this palette. Now, this palette is so crushed, I've had it for years now. My favourite highlighter shades are out of it, but this is the Revolution Ben banana what blush and highlight palette it's the makeup revolution um it's that's literally all it says i've broken it and everything i dropped it so many times and my favorite highlight if you get it my favorite highlight is this one here um but this blush well it depends on your skin tone but these three blushes are really pretty normally what i do is i dip into both of these at the same time so let me show you i'm just taking this brush this brush is from amazon i'm just dipping into this one tapping and then dipping into that one tapping and then dipping into this one again because it is a lot lighter and then I just go like this bringing up the temples that is a lot of pigment I forgot I haven't used this palette in ages I forgot how pigmented it was I honestly forgot how pigmented that palette is but the normal that palette I think is about eight pounds the blush I normally use is the Mega Lashes blush. The blush I usually use is the Mega Lashes blush, and I have it in the shade Very Rude. The Tropic one is also quite really nice, and also Baby Lotus. They're all really pretty. She also has bronzers out, um, and I might get my hands on some of those just before the school year, and I'll do a review on those over on my TikTok. So I take a bigger brush normally, and I just tap this on. This is from the Morphe as well. Okay, and then I just tap that on. I'm going to put a bit on my nose, a bit on the forehead, and a bit on the chin. Um, I do love a blushed nose. 
so i if you can't tell i do prefer a lot more red flushes and um, that's why i prefer this to be the latest but it's honestly a personal preference if i ever mentioned those are six pounds so next for brows this is actually from poundland so it is a pound it's the makeup gallery say the brow brow gel this isn't my normal brow gel but i ran out of my normal brow gel this is the one I normally use in my hair. Um, so, that is the brows all completed. It's literally, I just brushed them through with a bit of gel. Okay, mascara. My mascaras are all downstairs. I'm really sorry. It's same with my eyelash curler. So you're going to have to ignore that. Um, but the normal mascara I use is by Natural Collection or Unique. The Natural Collection one is 2 99 and that is the more drugstore one. The Unique one is £40, so... A bit more on the price side. Rim will have a really nice one. Um, and Primark also is so nice. Um, oh, and Essence Princess um, Mascara. I've heard really good things about I haven't tried it. I'm going to go get it this weekend, actually. Um, and I'll do a review again over my TikTok. So, next highlighter. So, I... As you saw, my highlighter palette smashed. So, normally I would use that highlighter. But recently, I haven't really been that into highlighter anyway. So, what I usually do is either I go back in with my collection, my beauty blender, I dab it into my knuckles, and then I just dab it where I want to look a bit more glowy. Obviously, it's a bit different because you have already got some on, but that is what it looks like. Or I will go in with this Kyo blush and highlight stick, and I'll take the highlighter and just do a tiny little bit on my cheek. It is a bit of a more of a crayon. So it's a bit harder to blend in, but I just blend it in with the warmth of my fingers. And that, I know, is £3. So this is the collection side, and then this is the Kaya side. And then for the lips, I use a lip gloss or a lip oil. So the lip oil I've been using is by Sunkist. Um, I haven't... Okay, I'm getting the Dior one. Um, so I'm going to order the Dior one, but for now, that's the one I've been using. Lip oils are just so much more moisturising than lip glosses. I'm going to pack away my makeup and then we're going to move on to the four hairstyles. Hey guys, so I'm going to do the hairstyle part, uh, portion of this video. So my hair is curled with this, all, of, all of these hairstyles I have made sure will work on any type of hair. So for your first hairstyle, you're, all you're going to need is just some of these small little hair ties. They look like loom bands, you could use loom bands. And if you ever struggle to take these off, you can always just get your hair straighteners and do it and then they snap um so for this hairstyle it's so simple i'm just going to take a small piece of hair and i'm actually going to just brush it okay so this is for this hairstyle i'm just going to take a small portion of hair and we're going to braid it once that is all braided i'm just going to take one of these small hair ties and tie it and i mentioned that i was going to do four or five hairstyles but i've got a couple more that are basically like the same hairstyle but like different this is so such an easy hairstyle and just makes your hair look a bit different and there it literally is you can add more you can i've done like normally like two hair and then one in my bangs um you can do them both sides make them symmetrical or you can just do it on the one side like i have um but another alternative is this little gadget from home bargains it doesn't really work on my hair because my hair is a bit long but i am going to show you guys so for this gadget you take a section of your hair and you split it in half and then at the end of your hair you clip it into these this was 2 99 for anyone wondering it was on the sale so i recommend getting down to home bargains before it goes back up to 20 pounds i'm just going to take it and um, they're clipped in and they twist it now. and then twist it the other way If you do it tight enough, sometimes you don't have to tie it, but I am going to. I'm just going to take this little twist. I'm going to take a hair tie. And have one of these little plastic ones. And I think that just looks really cute. So there's obviously two different hairstyles, but very similar. You've got the braid, and then you've also got the twist. You can obviously do the twist by hand, and also the twist... Um, you can do more, you can do less, and they're quicker, so it's a lot easier to do. I'm going to take these two out, and we're going to move on to the next hairstyle. Okay, so that is the first slash second hairstyle done. The next one is so easy, but also really cute in some ways. For this one, you literally just need a claw clip and sometimes a hair tie. Um, I'm just taking this small hair tie, and um, it goes around my hair once. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around. Ooh. 
all I do is I put the elastic around once and then spin the hair. And then just clip the hair, that was really messy. I then pull some hair bits down and make it look cute. And that's the second hairstyle, that was really bad, just really loose there, but you understand the vibe. Okay, so for the next hairstyle, all you need is a hair tie and a hairbrush. So this is your basic half up, half down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my bangs. Obviously not my full bang, but just like a tiny bit from my bangs at the front. And I'm just gonna take a hair tie and quickly just tie them together like three times it doesn't need to be tight just so those stay out nicely and then I'm gonna take my hair roughly about that much I don't want a lot but I don't want a little and some people like to do this as a comb I don't know where my comb is I'm using a brush I'm just gonna drag that all back like this This is like one of my favourite hairstyles if my hair's greasy because it just looks like I just put a bit of gel in and it slicks it and it doesn't look greasy, it just looks like I have a gel in. And then obviously you can do that high or low. I'm going to just do it here because I think it will look cute. I'm just going to take that small black fabric hair tie again just because it's not as much hair as I thought it was. And that looks really cute on curly hair. I would recurl these front bits um, and it just looks cute. You can always put some gel in, slick it back make it look even more neat and then obviously you can make it higher you can make it lower you can add more hair you can add less hair okay the last hairstyle i'm not particularly going to demonstrate but it is a messy bun obviously these are meant to be messy so they can be anything um i'm gonna quickly tidy up put my hair in a messy bun i'm not going to show you how i do it um but you kind of get it it can literally look like anything and i'll come back and do the outro with a messy bun in so you can just see it i can literally never get my paper right so i'm gonna just need my bun right so i'm gonna just take it out Leave it in the ponytail. I like that. But the, the idea, this is also another hairstyle. I had another one, but I couldn't really do it on my curly hair. So basically, you slick your hair back into a ponytail. And then you braid your ponytail, and it looks really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave my hair like this for the rest of the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a bit of help. Um, if there's any more back-to-school videos you want to see, and like any more help videos for starting secondary school, or just any help videos in general, do let me know. I know so many of you are starting, and I just want to be as helpful as I can. Um, so yeah, I will speak to you guys next week for another fun upload. Next week's upload... Oh, it's a basic back to school one. It's basic. And then the week after is not a back to school one. It's the week before I go back to school. That's an exciting one. I'm so excited for that one. So let's get started back into back to school. So I hate the fact that I'm going back to school, but I miss my friends. And I don't like seeing my friends outside of school. Anyway, I will speak to you guys later. And come join my Instagram lives every Wednesday night at 6pm. Love you all.